Hey everyone, Drew with GeoArm, and I am back to talk to you about the Honeywell Home Pro Series, Pro A7 and Pro A7 Plus panels, and how to get the Honeywell Home Pro Series Pro 6 CT encrypted wireless door window contact enrolled into the panel. Now, this is pretty easy to do here. Uh, what we're going to do is, uh, before even getting started on this, you need to verify that your firmware is the up-to-date version that allows for on-site programming. If you do not have your firmware updated, you will need to get your firmware updated prior to being able to do this. So give us a call, we'll get you activated, we'll get the firmware updated, and then from there you'll be able to do this. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and get into our programming menu by pressing the menu button at the bottom here, scrolling down to tools. Enter your installer code, which mine is the factory code of 4112. Once you're in there, you're going to go into programming. It'll say entering programming mode and then you'll see a brand new menu appear. What we're going to do is we're going to go into peripherals. This is where the zones are going to be programmed. This is uh, the exact location. So just make sure you see peripherals here and then go ahead and hit the plus sign. Now at this point, it does want you to enroll the device. So what I found is you just want to pop the cover on it. You'll see the green light blinking fast there. If you do see that right now. And uh, once that is done, it'll go solid for a moment, and then you'll see it learn in on the panel itself. There it goes. All right, and that is how you learn in that contact. So what we're going to do now is we'll go ahead and we'll get it edited and adjusted to your specs. So you see it is enrolled, six contact. It gives the MAC address. You can go ahead and verify that that MAC address matches by reading the MAC address, which is located right here. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to choose what uh, what this device's responsibility is. So this is going to be a uh, a read switch device here, and you can also change it to external. I'm sorry, I didn't even speak on that, but you can change it to an external device if you wanted to wire an external contact to this. You can definitely do that. This one I'm just going to leave as a read switch. We'll go ahead and we'll name the zone. So zone descriptor one, I'll go ahead and I'll put in front. As you can see, it populates there. Then I'll put in for descriptor two, I'll put in side. And then you can just choose that from there, save it. Okay, the device type, I'm gonna leave this as a door, but this, like I said, can also be several other things. It could be a window, a garage door, uh, any kind of, of, of device, um, except for you know motion, et cetera, et cetera. But door window, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set this as a door. And we can do this as a delay type, which would be entry exit one, or we can do this as an instant type, which would be perimeter. It's up to you. There's also a, a, an additional delay if you were trying to vary delay times. But uh, in this case, I'm gonna leave it as entry exit one. And this is where you, you spec it out here. So supervised, we do want it supervised. We do want the alarm to report. So if this does go off, we do want it reporting. And then you can choose what kind of chime it does. So it'll do standard, melody, melody long, ascend. There's all kinds of different ones. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose the standard one. At this point, it has been learned in and you're, all the programming is correct here. So you're just gonna go ahead and press either save and add another if you're, want, if you're wanting to add another zone, or you just hit save. In my case, I'm gonna hit save because I don't have anything else to program. So it does learn there. You can see strength of it and everything there. We're gonna go ahead and hit the back arrow all the way out of programming so that we can test this device. So it does have a tamper on it right now because I do not have the back plate on it. So that'll go ahead and get that cleared out here. I just had to get my pen right. Sorry, I forgot I changed it to four, three, two, one. So now we'll go ahead and we'll check this thing out. It should be responsive to us now. Front side door. Okay, and then we'll close it and you see that it's ready. We'll try it again. Front side door. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you program in the Pro 6 CT encrypted wireless door window contact from Honeywell Home into the Pro Series Pro A7 or Pro A7 Plus panels. If you guys have any questions or any comments, please leave them below. Other than that, take care and have a great day. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the Show More tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, 
and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.